Hi you guys, welcome back. I am very excited for this vlog because it's one of my favorites of the year. We're gonna be decorating together, which I'm just pumped. To be completely honest, I feel actually a little bit behind this year with putting up my Christmas decor because I have been seeing a bunch of people in my neighborhood with their Christmas trees up already and I swear I'm usually like one of the first ones. I pretty much always decorate like right around the day after Thanksgiving, which is today. Hope you guys had a fun Thanksgiving. But for some reason this year, I mean, I feel like every year it legitimately gets earlier and earlier and earlier when people decorate, but something about like this year, like TikTok or just seeing other people on Instagram, everyone was like, as soon as it was November, Christmas trees were up everywhere and I was behind. But if any of you guys are like me, <laughs> we're decorating the day after Thanksgiving. I just feel like it's always the perfect day. I always have a slow weekend, the weekend after Thanksgiving. We have our cute little sweater on today from my newly haul in my last vlog. I have some super greasy hair under here, so I threw on a beanie, but honestly, right now I am like violently sweating. I'm so hot, I need to like stick my head in the refrigerator. I'm not kidding. Like that's exactly what I'm gonna do after ending off this beginning clip. I also am gonna like just take my time decorating this weekend. I am absolutely not trying to get everything done today. I feel like most of the time I put up my tree and I just go crazy and I'm decorating a whole, the whole day for like 10 hours or something like that. Today, it is literally already, I think like three o'clock, it's 2.40. I worked out this morning, I came home and I've just been kind of like cleaning. cleaning. We did some dishes, we still had some stuff to clean up from Thanksgiving, so I wanted to like get downstairs kind of relatively clean before I start like taking down my fall, which we've been doing that too. I had Jared help me just start taking down anything that appeared fall decor. So welcome to the vlog, you guys. I hope you're excited. Vlogmas starts December 1st. My first vlog should be up on December 1st. I usually um, end up filming like November 30th and post it on the 1st and we'll talk about all that in Vlogmas but I'm just excited and I wanted to let you guys know to definitely look out in the month of December for a Vlogmas video from me every other day. Would love if you subscribed if you're not or like turned on post notifications so you don't miss any of the Vlogmas videos this year. I'm so excited. All right let's head downstairs and I'm gonna stick my head in the freezer. I wasn't lying about that and we're gonna get started. My disco ball is like reflecting so hard right now. It's kind of pretty that you can see <laughs> just all these flickers from it. This is the fall stuff that it honestly feels so weird still having this stuff out. I just feel like I've been over this and I probably should have put away fall like two weeks ago or something, but we're finally doing it today. So everything's kind of out. I'm gonna go through some of this stuff and I'm gonna put this stuff away in one of my bins and just put it in my little storage closet downstairs. And then I just wanna clean up this area super quick, like fluff up the couch and get this blanket off the floor before I bring the decor up. Look at this though, you guys. This was a, my first Target purchase of the year. I always have to get something. It's a little Sherpa tree. They honestly market it online as a pillow. I will tell you if you get this, it is absolutely not a pillow. I had it on my couch, but it has a really, really hard bottom. And it's definitely more of just like, I'm probably gonna put it somewhere just standing up rather than keep it on the couch, but I'm not quite sure yet. It does say decorative faux for a tree here, but on the Target website, it says pillow, which is really strange, but I got it anyway. And honestly, I love it. I'll link it down below. having a snack break. I ended up just spending two hours down in the closet reorganizing stuff and getting out the Christmas stuff. So now I'm really hungry. So I'm having some tomato toast again. I bought those heirloom tomatoes from Trader Joe's. So I'm trying to use them up and this looks so good. This is some brown cheesecake factory style bread that Jared's mom made for Thanksgiving and she gave us some of it to go home with. So I toasted that up in the toaster, did the layer of cream cheese, and then I went kind of a little crazy with the toppings. I did balsamic, olive oil, chili onion crunch, 
and just like some flaky salt and everyday seasoning and this is gonna be so good hi guys so excuse that i'm literally wearing just my bralette right now i have been overheating all day like i think i just turned the heat up too high earlier today because i was freezing earlier and then i pumped it up like three degrees and i have been so hot all day i feel like it's something about that sweater material it just is so warm i'm a mess today my hair is so freaking greasy under this beanie i look a mess but today was basically a total flop in terms of like i just did not plan today right for decorating but also it's totally fine because i have tomorrow i have sunday so today i kind of didn't realize like how much prep i needed to do um i really got lost in which is something that happens to me a lot but i went down to our like storage closet our like little under our stairs storage area is so just like it's very hard for me to keep organized it's where i keep like the off season stuff my christmas stuff etc i had a lot of stuff in there that i needed to go through today so i decided because i've kind of been avoiding it it's like one of those areas in my house that i've really been avoiding like going in there and doing like a cleanse of what's in there so today i forced myself to do that before the christmas decorating and it just took a really long time and honestly it just would have been a total mess to try and film that so i cleared everything out and i put back only what we needed i moved some stuff to the garage we took out the christmas stuff but um haven't put it up i probably would have like started now but we are gonna go see a movie and we kind of like knew that the whole day we're gonna see a movie at 7 30. it came out either yesterday or today it's called salt burn we're leaving in like five minutes so i need to put on my sweater again <laughs> But yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna actually like decorate and stuff. I feel like also the problem today was like I didn't really get started till like three o'clock. So then by the time I got done with that closet, it was already like five. I'm excited to actually put up Christmas tomorrow. It'll be fun. Um, I just need to get an earlier start tomorrow, I think too. But I'm excited to go to the movies. We haven't been on a movie date in quite a while. I'm trying to even think the last thing we saw in theaters i'm wondering if we even saw anything after like the barbie movie i'll have to ask jared but i honestly think that might have been the last time we went to the movies yay all the lights are up yes i love the village village cinema my favorite movie theater Look how cute it is guys not me walking around in public with an eyelash i mean a, a mascara groomer wand stuck to my fucking coat how embarrassing we just walked through the entire establishment and into the movie theater oh no you and me together. hello you guys it's saturday we are refreshed well slept feeling great and ready to finally put this tree up. So we're starting early today. It's like not even 11 a.m. and we're getting after it. This is where the tree is gonna go. I have to move the plant stand. I think we're gonna put it just like on the middle of our staircase, which sounds weird, but it's like divided and there's this big um, section. So I think there's a space for it right there and then we'll move it back after the tree. But yeah, she's gonna have to move to make way for the beautiful beautiful trees light this baby up by the way this candle is incredible the balsam the throw of this candle it is insane i wanted to just kind of do a little voiceover and talk to you guys while we are decorating so hopefully you enjoy that definitely let me know if you want more of these in vlogmas i'm literally sitting in the bath right now recording this ways over but i wanted to ask you guys if you do like a real or fake christmas tree i always grew up having a fake one my parents always said it was because my brother was like allergic to real trees and i feel like i need confirmation on that <laughs> but we had the and literally still have the same fake christmas tree i don't even know how long we've had it like it has to i don't remember ever having another tree and it is so funny. I just have some of the best memories, like putting it together with my dad. My dad always puts it together with us. I feel like we all help out, but I just have such good memories of like us being kids and teenagers and helping my dad put it together. And it is a super old fake tree, but it's honestly amazing. I mean, it's probably like 
eight or nine feet tall. It's beautiful. But let me know if you guys are like the real or fake tree game. I feel like I just, I don't know what it is. I think it's just because I grew up with a fake tree that I just like how you can store it and it's kind of like low maintenance every year. But I know some people go hard for a real tree and you definitely can't beat that delicious real tree smell, I will say. Let me know. Maybe we inherit that from our childhood. Like maybe you're like me. If you had fake trees growing up, you have fake trees. If you always had a real tree, I feel like you'd probably get a real one. So I want to know what you guys do. Are you boys excited? It's Cholula's first Christmas with us. He's probably had some before. We don't know, but he doesn't seem to really care that much about the tree. <laughs> no reaction so far. Just tested all the lights. Jared did. We had two duds this year and five successful lights. So I feel like that should be enough to do the tree. Now we are going to be putting up the lights. It's so nice to have help during this. I think last year Jared was like sick, <laughs> feeling really bad on the day that we put up the tree. And I ended up having to do like almost all of it by myself. I think he did come down and help me for the lights because it's just so hard to do that on your own. But, oh my gosh, thank God he was feeling okay this year because he needed to make it up to me. Another question for you. I feel like pre-lit trees are all the rage this year. I've been seeing that viral Home Depot tree that it's like a glitter light tree or something like that. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have seen that on TikTok. But I just have my little tree. I love to hold onto a tree for as long as possible. I mean, I love this one. This one's just from Target. I think I got it two years ago. And you definitely have to do the lights yourself. But I kind of like that. One of my favorite Christmas traditions that we would always do with my family is like when we were kids and stuff, when we were all, you know, always home for Christmas is we would always do like a big Christmas Eve. And then we would also on Christmas Eve always drive around and look at the Christmas lights in the neighborhood. Sometimes we'd go, actually a lot of times we would go to some of the other neighborhoods that were close by. And my dad would do this thing where if he, if he likes the lights a lot, he'd honk the horn no matter what hour of night it was. Like just a quick honk and it, he would call it giving them a shout out. <laughs> like, oh, we got to give them a shout out. And that will stick with me forever. Did you find all the ornaments, Gorda? Yeah. Your eyes look a little crazy in this light. I thought I had more ornaments in this, but I really only have this many. And then I guess there is a lot in here, actually. These are like, sorry, the light is weird. I don't know why you can't see that, but all the little ones in here. My little ribbons just got delivered just perfectly in time. Looking at it, I kind of probably should have gotten the cream colored pack. I just got the pink and the maroon because the cream one took like a week to come. But I feel like I'll definitely use this color, probably this color. I probably won't use the pink, but maybe this one too. So cute though. These are just one inch chiffon ribbons. I didn't even notice that Jared put the star on here, but so nice. Thank God he's tall because that was great. I usually have to go on, up on a little chair step to do it myself. And then we're starting on the ornaments. So I do have a couple special ornaments that you guys will see that I bought for this year coming in later in this vlog. But the rest I've just had for a while. I feel like I do want to get more into collecting ornaments and like ornaments that I really, really like. This year we found a few in the bottom of the, the bin that were just so random and I couldn't even remember where they came from. It was like not the vibe. So I'm donating a few this year. But I am going ahead and tying on these cute little ribbons, which I feel like were just honestly my favorite part of the tree. And Jared is going and doing most of the ornaments, and I'm helping with some of those too once I was done. In conclusion, just talking about Christmas traditions and stuff, I feel like I always get asked, like, are you going to go home for Christmas? And as I've gotten older, like our traditions have changed and my family sees each other at a different time of year, not really for Christmas anymore. And now I get to celebrate with Jared's family. I get to have different traditions and also like make our own traditions. And that's what's really important to me and what, what I love showing you guys in Vlogmas. So I just wanted to say, I know it's like nostalgic having all those old Vlogmas videos where I would go home and Megan would go home and we'd have like Christmas Eve and Christmas at home. But I feel like it is realistic for things to change as you get older. I mean, I'm literally almost 30 and it's not that I don't want to go home for Christmas, but it's like being the only child, it's, it's a little different. So now, you know, we have new traditions and that is an exciting and beautiful thing in itself. 
Guys, I love it. She is up, she's glorious. I really do like these little ribbons that I did. I ended up doing the ivory. I added a few of the little, I mean, these are like a clay color, like a light red, and then a few of the maroon. I think I did like five of each and kind of tried to spread them out. And I think it looks really pretty. I didn't do any tinsel. Maybe I'll add that. I'm not really sure. I'm not a huge like glittery on the tree person. I don't know. I feel pretty good about this, but maybe I'll add like a couple things. Let me know what you guys think. I think the little bows, the little, the little ribbons did a lot. Obviously it'll look better at night. The sun was shining in so much I had to like fully close the curtains to show y'all. Jared put the star up top too. I actually missed that until right now. I'm just noticing that. It's actually just an ornament. It's not even a star, but it works perfectly as the star of the tree. Well, the tree is up. I haven't done any other decorating so far, but very happy that this is up. She's looking cute. I'm very hot and I also have extremely greasy hair from... I haven't watched it since Thanksgiving morning and it's Saturday, two days after Thanksgiving. So at some point today, we will need to do that. I don't think it's gonna be right now, but I am gonna go upstairs and change. I'm probably gonna do a little mini vacuum and then we will reconvene for some decorating. Excited to like light this up at night. That is seriously the best part of putting your Christmas tree up is when it gets dark and it's cozy at night and you got the tree lit up. Oh my gosh, nothing better, I can't wait. Okay, what do we think about above the bar cart? I feel like I got a little crazy, but also I kind of love it. I pretty much just threw this garland, holly, whatever it is up, and then I just put all the stuff that didn't fit elsewhere for the most part. But I feel like it looks cute and like somewhat placed. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Something else could go here, but we can always add to that. Or maybe it's good. Maybe I just need to leave it where it's at. I feel like it's cute. Now I'm moving on to the stockings. I have this little Christmas sign that I hang and then I'm gonna put the hooks on for the stockings under it. We really need a shower. Um, I'm trying not to be on camera very much, <laughs> as you may be able to tell. I'm just gonna hope these command hooks will hold up our stockings this year if they're like empty. You know what I mean? Obviously when we fill the stockings, we'll take them off the wall, but I don't know. I haven't had great luck with command hooks in the past, but I want the stockings displayed on the wall, so we're gonna try again. I'm glad I got to know you better. We've come so far since that December. For sure guys it's time it's that time of year if you know you know I'm having instead of tomato toast I'm having a tomato bagel just same toppings on an everything bagel it looks simply gorgeous this is one of my favorite things to eat if I have fresh tomatoes so yummy. Hi guys, I just wanted to sit down and record a little casual clip talking to you guys while I open two packages. These are honestly both Christmas ornaments, but I'm very excited um, to see them. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not good at multitasking, so maybe I'll just talk first. I just wanted to come on and candidly talk to you guys. I just, to be completely 100% honest, the past like week, Thanksgiving week and weekend and stuff just kind of burnt me out. We've been doing a lot of social things, socializing, cooking, busyness last week, work, 
all that kind of stuff. Vlogmas is starting and there's always a lot of prep that goes on kind of behind the scenes for that and just honestly even just mentally like gearing up to film every single day to film my life, to talk to the camera, to edit every day, to film every day. It is something that I kind of even after like 10 years, I still have to prepare myself for and just keep in mind like I need the rest of my schedule and my month to be like as light as possible to be able to like mentally be able to like conquer vlogmas. And just to be totally transparent, I wanted this vlog to like go longer. I wanted to film yesterday. I wanted to film today and I just didn't feel like it. Um, and I do not mean that in a horrible way. I just mean like you know, I've been really trying to be consistent about my getting a video up every week for literally like months and months and months and months now. And I considered like skipping this week, just kind of like, okay, cause Vlogmas goes up on Friday, it's already Monday. And I'm like, well, you know, I won't have that long for this video to go up, but I still want it to be its own video. I always love having a decorating video. I just kind of wanted to like let you guys know that you know, this was a little bit, you know, just what it was. It was decorate with me and I kind of wanted to like have some more clips in here, some more, you know, usual stuff in my vlogs. But I think I just, just have to be like honest with myself and just sit down and be like, okay, I need to have at least like a day or two or three off of filming before I start filming my life every single day. And um, once again, I don't mean that in this like, oh my gosh, like horrible way at all. It's just like mentally what I know for myself that again that I need to like be successful so, you know this isn't necessarily my my best vlog where I did all this stuff like cooking and making you know going out and doing errands and my usual things but this is what this vlog is and I still am gonna put it up I am feeling already a little bit burnt out not specifically about YouTube just Behind the scenes right now, I'm kind of trying to figure some stuff out. I'm very like stressed out currently about money and financial things and trying to make things happen for Christmas, but also keeping in mind things that I need to have my savings for this month. And just this year, I have had a not great year financially. It's just hard. And so I think I might talk about that more in Vlogmas. Like I wanna do these little segments in Vlogmas where I just like sit down and talk to you guys candidly like this. So I think I'm gonna try and make that um, a thing. So if you're listening, I haven't even opened up these ornaments. I will. If you're watching this far in the vlog, I would love if you would comment down below one or two things. The first one would be like any sort of question that you have like advice or anything that you would want me to touch on in one of these casual, sit down floor chats or whatever in vlogmas because i want to do more stuff like this where we just like open up about you know a topic or whatever so if you have anything off the top of your head it could literally be about anything like i said you know i'm thinking like advice related stuff but even if it's just like a general topic that you have that you'd want me to like talk about more in these sit down style videos you can leave that down below too and i'm gonna ask you guys like on instagram too and stuff but i i really would love to hear from you guys because i want to kind of know what you guys want me to talk about not that i'm not real in my vlogs i feel like it is very much so my real life but it's also it has gotten in some ways like these are the things that I'm gonna film, these are the things that I'm not gonna film, this is the time of the day that I'm gonna record, this is the time of day that I'm gonna like stop recording and we're gonna have our night routine and I'm gonna sit with Jared and you know what I mean? And I just want to have a little bit more like switch up the routine, talk about stuff that's like actually going on, stuff that's on my mind. So I'm really chatty right now, but yeah, that's been something that I've kind of been struggling with behind the scenes. And I feel like a lot of people don't talk about stuff like that. It's just something that I kind of just wanna put out there is it's taking up a lot of my um brain <laughs> and it's taking up a lot of my like stress levels and i just always tell myself just be patient and be positive just be patient and be positive but legitimately the entire year i've been telling myself that and i think sometimes you just got to figure something else out so currently in the process of that but let's open up these 
I hope these made it here okay. I don't know, I feel like that clip was so bejumbled, but I guess I just honestly wanna like apologize to you guys for not having that much footage in this vlog and I didn't wanna like, I know it sounds dramatic probably if you like, I don't know, watching a YouTuber be like, oh my gosh, I just have so much going on. It's so stressful to like film my life. It's not, <laughs> I don't want it to come across like that. It's just, I actually do need to have like breaks in vlogging for my mental clarity and for my mental health. And I feel like I've been so, like even if it hasn't seemed like it behind the scenes, like I feel like almost every day I've either been filming or editing or I've been doing something for reels or TikTok or really busy doing other stuff and i just need to like slow down a little bit and obviously it's not a great time of year to say that because we're heading into the busiest month of my year as well as the holiday season i think i just really need to make sure that during vlogmas i am like prioritizing the things that make me feel good and um because behind the scenes there is a lot of time with editing and doing the thumbnails and all of it that might not seem like it's going on behind the scenes but just know that it's not just filming your life it's basically being dedicated for 25 days to this thing being like priority in your life and i feel like you guys totally get that so i just wanted to put that out there and say thank you for understanding um and i'm sorry this vlog wasn't my best vlog i know it wasn't all right are you guys even ready are you even ready for her. <laughs> Espresso martini ornament. <laughs> this like went viral and they don't have it anywhere anymore. It's I mean, it's from Target and it's completely, and from what I've seen, it's like completely sold out. It has a little, here, let me show you guys. It has a little like shimmery top. This is even cuter in person. It really is. Um, so I literally ordered this on eBay. I think it was like, Honestly, you guys, it was like 20 or 25 bucks. I, and originally it was probably five. I know, I know it's ridiculous, but like I will hopefully, if I take good care of this, I will hopefully have it for years to come or forever. And it's so iconic. Another one from eBay. <laughs> they came the same day. I'm trading myself to two this year. I already did. And that's it. I'm not allowed. If you see any ornaments that remind you of me, don't tag me because I'm literally not allowed to get myself anymore this year this is it because once you see this one too honey you'll be like wait this one's so cute in person too an aperol spritz <laughs> but it has this like crystal in the glass go off target why is target just i'm sorry target is my favorite store like they are elite these are everything all right you guys this is quite a long clip but yeah we're gonna end the vlog off we are just going to hit it hard for vlogmas Okay, we're hitting it hard. We're taking a couple days. We're gonna reset ourselves, get in the, you know, get in the spirit, get in the mood. I need to just like feel positivity and not stress. I really, really let stress take over my life a lot. And it's very hard for me to like put things that are stressing me out or are on my mind, like off of my brain. It's very difficult for me. I feel like finances and those things that like rules a lot of my thoughts. And I kind of wish it wasn't that way because that's just kind of how I feel like I am. I would love to open up about stuff like this more in Vlogmas, like I said. So feel free to leave your requests down below. Um, I love you guys so much. I will see you very soon in a few days. All right, bye guys.